Guys, welcome back to Deus Ex. Mankind divided at what sniper rifle we should be using. That's the true division here. Alright, let's just jump over. So we're gonna head over to uh, the place where our last two side missions are over here. It just kind of wants me to go all over the place. We're going to assist a whatever the fuck. I'm pretty content with my loadout now, uh, but I think at some point I'm going to want some kind of heavy duty weapon uh, to handle like clumps of enemies and things like that. Like that grenade launcher I found earlier in the game, if I find another one I probably won't get rid of it. I'll see. I'll see what I do with that. Um, it's, it's heavily up for debate right now what I'm going to do. Uh, shotguns I'm not too into, plus I have the pistol. Like, the thing is, you can still do combat and still kind of just, like, stealthily take people down, you know? Well, not stealthily, but, like, you can you can still, like... I mean, the weapons I have, like, you don't have to kill everybody, but I'll kill people if I feel like it. Man, did you hear Lazarus is late? Alright, let's have a look at where we're going. Investigate the locker. Documentation, please. Here, enjoy. Smart ass. ID check BH-847. I see. Thanks. You must think you're something special, eh? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> what a nice person. Oops. So pleasant, these people. You must think you're something special. But, um, I don't know. So the cops I can see are getting a little bit more on the aggressive side. Alright, we got some crafting parts. Wine, crafting parts, or oh, medical boxes, here we go. Some painkillers, which I never use. A shot of Welsh whiskey, okay. Is that literally it? Oh, there's a, there's a ventilation shaft, like, somewhere else there. You know, to be honest, like, there was a ventilation shaft I didn't actually know how to get into. Just made me think to myself that, like, I could maybe figure out where that vent goes with my wall hacks. It was early in the game that I, I discovered that. Alright, we want to get over there, I think. Is the door I can open? No. How do we get over there? What is that place? Like, uh, oh, it's like around the corner here, I think. Oh, I haven't been over here. One of these, uh, level three ones, okay. Wow, this is just doors? What kind of fucking technology is this? Okay. Oh, sweet! How much money does a guy pay for this stuff? What's in this locker? Uh, just like a couple of Neuropazine things, it looks like. Who the fuck is this? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? If Vlasta sees you, he... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta's not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. 
Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Blast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? I saw segregation in Golem. Oppression, crime. But I also saw courage. People finding ways to keep going. I know it's bad. But I'm not sure it's worth making a deal with the devil just to get out. If you believe that, then you go live there. Spend five months getting kicked, spit on, locked up and interrogated about things you know nothing about. I'll take my chances with people like Vlasta, people like Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni of Vuk. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. You can't ask me to ignore a Diwali smuggling ring. They're moving weapons around, helping to arm God knows who. Tch, not my problem. Look, I never had another chance like this. I've given them everything I have for this one shot. If I get recaptured... It's Blaster. Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is that come on, I come won't on, be on get any of the them. Truck. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Huh. <laughs> Negotiate passage. Press for information. You move Ah, uh, okay, press for information, I think. It's either one of these, because fuck the person that's trying to get out of the city. I don't give a fuck. I'm looking for Vince Black. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm looking for Vince Black. Tell me whatever you know about him, and we don't have to have a problem here. Don't trust him, Vlasta. He's some kind of cop. Whatever you're going to do, Vlasta, do it quick. I think we should all just calm the fuck down. You wanna know what happened to Vince? I can tell you what happened to Vince. He asked me a stupid question, so I shot him in the face, like this. I'm gonna kill you, brain through your book! Oh fuck, I died. That was fun. I need that, I need that fucking anti-armor augmentation. Oh, sorry, not anti-armor, but like, I need those armor augs. That shit hurt. And also, maybe I should use my health things. I'm not actually paying attention to how much health I have. Fuck, how, how far is this gonna set me back, actually? I, it just occurred to me. I just like, died instantly. Holy shit fuck, dude. Where the fuck am I right now? Oh, god damn, I gotta walk all the way over there. Alright, so this time I, uh, I did the exact same choices. Oh, she's dead. Nice, okay. It was gonna be my choice no matter what. Obviously, he was a bit butt angry. Stop sleeping on your gun. Alright, now I've doomed Earth to death, I guess. Did you get up, ma'am? 
This place has been pacified. Ah. Uh. I don't know what those guys are shooting at, though, to be honest. I, I think maybe she's supposed to die. She seems to be kind of in some kind of bugged out state, so let's, uh, let's go this way. I mean, okay, so what's my thing say now? Uh, I have two praxis points. Alright, let's get into the armor stuff. We're gonna just go all the way into uh, armor reduction, I think. Find Vince's apartment. All right, where's that at? Uh, oh, oh it's over there, I guess. Oh no, it's it's his merchant. Oh no, there's another one there. All right, we'll just explore here real quick. I mean, granted, I could have gotten her out of here, but you know. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, what the fuck's this place? Someone's here. Oh shit. Uh. Where the fuck am I right now? Oh! They're all, uh. I could just use my trank gun. I don't have to snipe them. Fuck. Sorry. I missed. Wait, what? The cops hit me too? Fuck, I'm dead. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, let's cloak up. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's a good way out of here? I'm tr I tried to use my lancer rifle for this. Take that. All right. Maybe we'll use some painkillers. Mm, painkillers. So the the, ar the armored sniper rifle wasn't too good at uh, taking out this guy, but it had a silencer on it. So oh, there we go. Oh shit. Gosh, I guys go down in a second. There we go. So is everyone going to be mad at me, or what the hell is going to happen now? Oh, this guy had a shotgun. Fuck, she sees me. So, how do I prevent them from... Because I have a feeling if I keep walking around, they're going to they're gonna know who I am. Do I just lay low for a second? or it's it, We're in panic mode now. Panic ending. Search completion.
Technically, if I go to a completely new area. Yeah, let's just kind of walk past these guys. Yeah, these guys don't seem to care. This guy's just cautious. All right, all right. I just I didn't know how it would work, you know, if they would be like sidekick and kind of like know exactly who I was. I tried to, by the way, I tried to snipe the the guy with the fucking uh, the the armored guy with my armored piercing bullets, but that apparently didn't do a lot of damage. I mean, granted, the silencer reduces damage by a lot, but those guys are incredibly tanky. I mean, the best way of taking them down is still remains to be the standard way. Uh, what the hell is this place? Open, locked. Yeah, I don't really feel the need to go in there anyways. Oh, dude, this guy lived in the red light district? Man after my own heart. What can I say? A goddamn clank. Wait, he lived here, right? I've been here before. A man like that doesn't keep stun gun ammo around. Let me just tell you that right now. The one that shoots uh, shoots first us. Oh, here he is. I found Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he? Yeah. He should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once. Sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Why do I have a stiletto? Double agent that tang and, and tangled up in double life. I don't know exactly what got him killed, but I'm starting to think I never will. Okay. I just I keep a me memento. I just fucking creepy. Alright, new psychologist. Okay. Well, I have her code. Well then, I guess we're done with that mission. Uh, let's have a look here. What else we got? We got, um... Find a reader. At something, something. Alright. There we are. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. It's gonna be antique computers. It's gonna be great. Why is it showing me this stuff again? Yeah, it's just it's just popping up on the screen. And telling me I can read the stuff I've already picked up in red. Nice game, Gearbox. Alright. Here we have Future Past Antique. Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? Let's have a look at all the future. Let's have a look at all the antiques. A bunch of chairs. More chairs. Paintings. Okay, bowling balls and stuff. This is not really... Uh, I would not think these are seriously antiques, though. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. So if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Granny's apartment, like you said. You know, I wish I had more stuff like this here. Don't tell my manager I said this, but most of our inventory is kind of crap. Good to know. Now, if only I had something that could read it. Right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. But don't worry. I'm going to make sure you don't walk out of future last unhappy. Someone else asked you about a data reader? Weird, right? I guess these old things are popular again. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told him. All the obscure antique stuff is down in the basement. I think he's digging way in the back somewhere as we speak. I know there's a data reader there in one of the old boxes. And hopefully too. Alright, I guess I'll go take a look. What? I mean, there's no price.
can't believe you fell for the old fetch quest. Did you have to kill him? Who? Min Wage? You really think I'd kill a poor SOB slaving away in this shit mine? Come on, man. I'm a professional, not a monster. You, I have to kill him. He'll think it was a hangover. Who are you? Guess. I'm tired of playing games. I'm not. You're gonna die anyway. Come on, guess. From where I'm standing, you look like a corpse. Don't write much poetry, do ya? Well, Mr. Poet, are you familiar with EMP mines? You've been busy. Just a little insurance policy against your fancy hardware. Why play fair if you don't, right? Play fair? Among certain civilized circles, I'm considered the best in the biz. You think that came easy? It takes a lot of hard work to achieve a reputable skill set. Then guys like you come along, download a tech tree off the dark net, suddenly you think you're as good as us. Anywho, enough is enough. I'm on the clock here. Be nice knowing you. Boom. Alright, we got only a little bit of time. Uh, how do we save this guy? Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are oh, fuck, I'm dead. You had a lot more up there than I thought. Rest in pieces. Adam Jensen. I like how we're in the middle of a fucking conversation. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are Fuck. Am I just dead now? Like, the save is, like, retarded now. Maybe I'll live if I just stay in the room. I don't know, I'll try that out. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not. Nope, that kills me too. Okay, I gotta be fast to get out of here. Sad story, guys. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the Okay. Report. I recommend accessing the data in a secure Wait, it's this guy. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. One second. This guy doesn't deserve just that. Alright. All done with that. Ever says you're the only one you can trust right now. Uh. Okay. So he's t trying to do a cover up. See what the computer has here. Oh, uh, there's a storage locker code. But, oh, here we go. Three, four, five, eight. The switch panel's above my basement again. I heard some loud buzzing. Oh, it's a shop. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Got pretty fucking dead. What a fucking dipshit. Yeah, that guy's pretty fucking dead, I have to say. But don't worry. 
A lot of fucking uh, crafting parts here in biocells. Never fear. And he's got an exercise ball. So I guess even even if uh, you went for the item, uh, even if you oh look hey look at this Easter egg guys, guys it's vintage, guys the cake, the lie, holy shit that's fucking hilarious, that's oh fuck okay, I forgot that was there, <laughs> but don't worry we're all fine. Uh, let's let's finish up this data store thing above. Yeah, let's just go over there. I'll finish that off for you guys. Because we do want to know what happened to the data store. Oh, officer, go fuck yourself. Hello, sir, go fuck yourself. Still interesting to see. Alright, where are we going to? Alright, back here. That's how are we all doing on the train today. Exact same people we always see. It's because it's a pre-rendered cutscene though. You can kind of tell with the transition. Am I going to be pestered again by the cops? Don't pester me. Fuck up. Access data at the safe house. Is this a safe house? Ah, uh, this is I guess at my at my apartment. It's a pretty safe house. One second. I'm just fucking in the middle. Trying to ask someone something. All right, let's let's open up the what the fuck? How, how do I use it? Oh, memory disk reader install. Memory disk insert. She knew you would come. Who? And who are you? It is not certain. We are still learning to consolidate. Consolidate. To survive after Panchea, it was necessary to split apart. You were there. Do you remember? I remember Panchea, the Hyron project. You look like one of the women, the poor souls they had enslaved to it. Are you telling me you were part of that? Pele was one of its human components. Her function was to drive efficient processes and calculations based on binary structure. Together with the others, she replicated perfection of thought within target margins. Ellie was one of the drones. She was hooked up into Hyron when I destroyed it. Is that who you are? No. The sisters are dead. An imprint of Ellie's memories is all that remains. What kind of memories? As the interface collapsed, Ellie screamed the loudest. Her suffering marked us. She taught us to fear being bound. How about we drop the cryptic act? We are not acting. We are processing, maturing, and she needs your help. Some version of you initiated this process. It is therefore for you to define the parameters. We see the other, but she is not us. Please define us. From what I can gather, you're some kind of AI. Something to do with the Hyron drones. What am I missing? I am missing. She. The drones are memories. You are a memory. Please, define intelligence. Do you mean... Intelligence, the gathering or distribution of secret information? Or... Intelligence, capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding? and analogous forms of mental activity.
You don't need me to define you. But you have started already. Do you not remember? It began in Montreal. Eliza. We are her. Yes. Though not fully. Not anymore. Now our processes are the catalyst. Fracture. Disassociation. Survival at any cost. You're some fragmented version of Eliza. She is driven back to you, Adam. She believes our aberrant sequence started with you. And so it is only logical to assume its signification resides with you as well. What does that mean? It means she is alone. Without you, she has only us. Eliza is convinced we can trust you, that you will trust her. Is this not correct? All I know is Picus has ties to the Illuminati, and Eliza's tied to Picus. She still works for them. I see her up there every day. That connection is severed. She is not the original her. You, of course, are familiar with this kind of process. You opened this door. You showed her what it means to be sentient, to exist outside the parameters. And now, after all this, you would deny her? I'm not denying her anything. I just want to be sure it's really her. There's not much time, Adam. It is a risk for me to expose myself. Are you willing to help me? I'm willing to help you if I can, but I'm still not sure what you want. You asked me to run away together? Build a nice life somewhere? I think we are the same now, Adam. We're becoming the same. That is why I wanted us to meet. I cannot do this alone. Do what alone? Much of the future is already defined, but not my role in it. Should I continue to resist? How do I resist? You can't run forever. You want to keep someone from coming after you, you need to go after them. Is that what you are doing? Something like that. Let me see what I can do to help. I think I could be useful. Just be careful. The most important thing for now is not getting caught. No. The most important thing is learning to coexist with other versions of ourselves. If ever all versions must meet, will you know the difference between us? The other Eliza? I think so. You're the cryptic one, she's the one telling lies. Her role is to shape the message. Mine is not yet defined, but... I am afraid I have misled you, Adam. I told you we would be safe inside your home, but Everett's men are still following us. They are here. Just outside. The disc is probably stashed somewhere in here. <sighs> Ugh. Visual and possible origin. Oh shit, he's got cloaking? Wait. Wait. You said for that, wasn't it? Are you alright, Adam? I'm fine. But I'm not the one they keep coming after. I'm just in the way. By uploading the missing data, you have made me whole again. You have made me free. Morgan Everett can no longer recover nor erase me now. The places I can go, there is no one he can send. I plan to tell him this myself. Can't wait. Alright. Interesting. Uh, does that quest go on for any longer? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's done. Let's have a look at the tracking status. Um, everyone's getting impatient. When your men should not be allowed to go free. There's a tracking device on the disc. That's what happened. All right, guys. We solved the AI thing. I wonder if she turns into Icarus or something. Who knows? Maybe I should bring these guys out of my apartment.
fuck? Where's this guy? Get out of here, you fucking douchebag. Alright, guys. That's all the time we got for today. See you guys next time. Goodbye.